welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a vlog as you can tell sort of because i am holding it and probably the title of this video today i am off to london for a couple days i'm off to meet sarah again and if you don't know who sarah is she was in one of my videos last year we done a little mcdonald's mukbang up in london where she was staying and she is still in london and if you didn't know she's australian so that's pretty cool if you ask me so i'm going up to meet her today and i'm staying up there for two nights until friday and um, we've got a lot planned in store so i'm pretty excited because i've literally been working non-stop but like i've had overtime basically every day so it's nice just to get a few days off and enjoy myself like a little mini holiday so that's what i'm going to be doing over the next few days and i thought i would document it because i don't see her very often and when i do we will have these memories to look back at even if she does like move back to australia permanently which she probably will at some point in the future so i thought let's just document it and hopefully it'll be fun to watch as well and give you guys some ideas if you're planning to go to london i've got my mask as well got a little black one from work uh, look how i look with this it's, it's actually really big for my face just currently waiting at the train station now got my little suitcase it's actually so hot and windy as well and i think i'm gonna get a heat stroke basically i have just made it to london to see sarah i was not ready for that um i've arrived in her little cute room say hello <laughs> she's gone blonde i don't know if you can tell from last time also a long time ago. i really appreciate that plant oh. why I've is it taking care of it why does it say that wait can you see that <laughs> be my new mummy please don't let me die it I've says already let it die <laughs> i mean it's a cactus Are they like i feel like they're quite easy to look after well i haven't watered it since march when i got it Oh my god. So I thought I'd try to revive it. So uh, the uh -huh. plan for today is we're going to go out to this place called, is it Pagola? Is that oh, how yeah. you say it? And then, which is like a rooftop bar place, and then we're going to go to a place called The Alchemist. Do you know where that is? Where is it? Because I know there's a couple bars. Um, I think we're going to go one near Leicester Square. Okay, so we're going to that one. And yeah, that's, that's the day so far. Sarah's just changing her SIM and her phone. <gasps> Fun right, times. Please. I think I might put some makeup on because I haven't today and I feel like it's time. I have just done my makeup as you can tell and we are just about to get ready. So much more organised than me. Oops. Whoa. <laughs> She's putting in the dry shampoo. <laughs> Honestly, this hair is hard to work with now. Yeah, uh, she's got a lot of keeping up to do with that blonde hair. Fucked up. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Too monetization. <laughs> Yeah, show them the view of my uh, nothing. So this is the view from... Oh, wait, let me <laughs> flip the camera around. Although, can I just say... This is the view that we have from the lovely, you know... It's a lot nicer than living in a basement flat and not having a window at all. Yeah, because that's what she was used to beforehand. <gasps> um, but yeah, we have a 50-minute public transport ride, the other side of London, basically. Yeah. Uh, so Pagola is in Paddington... Uh, which is near, uh, also one in Olympia, but it's like the same distance. So. Oh, okay. Uh, which is near Hyde Park, like Ken Kensington, South Kensington, is it? Is it around there? Uh, kind of. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, you know it better than me. I've put eyelashes on as well because I wanted to be extra today, and I'm probably gonna wear eyelashes tomorrow as well because why not? Nice. Thank yeah, I've also like chose to come when it's really nice weather. It's like 24 degrees today sun and cloud and then tomorrow is like 28 or something yeah. and it's just pure sun and then friday is like 33 here so pick some good days to go i will show you oh i also had like a little cheeky greg's as well but i didn't film it because we were in a rush <gasps> but i will show you what kind of food and drinks we get at this place because i can imagine it will be quite bougie and cool <laughs> We've just come to this really cute place outside Paddington Station. What is the lemon yuzu spritz? I've got no idea. We're looking at the menu here. It's all really like cheap happy hour. 
Um, but yeah, we're just on this like little boat place, like a little canal. It's really cute. So we've ordered our drinks. I opted for an April spritz, which I found out I actually don't really like that much because I didn't even realize I'm stupid, but it's got wine in it. Oh, my phone just went on the floor. Um, <laughs> I promise I'm not drunk already. Um, we are actually on a slant at the moment. Sarah just got a little fresh lemonade because she's healthy. <laughs> healthy, yeah. She's not starting on the alcohol early like me, but our booking is in about 15 minutes. And we're gonna, I'm gonna just basically drink this up and we're gonna walk over, get some more drinks in, I guess. And food. And food because we are starving. So excited. So, this is like the little canal we were literally just like sitting on, which is literally just there outside the station. And now we're just walking to Pagola. Is it called Pagola? Pagola. I always wanna call it Pagolia. <laughs> but yeah, look at the river, it's so cute. Well, guess Sarah, the little tour guide. Not a very good one. She's been in London for about a year now. Apparently, she knows her way around, but you know, never been to Paddington though. Getting a bit closer now, finally. But yeah, this is it. This is what it looks like. So we've just rocked up at Pagola, and this is what it's looking like. So cute. Love it. So we've just got our pins. I copied Sarah because. You really can't go wrong with pims, and I feel like they just take you to another level. So yeah, I've got that. We're having a look at the menu. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh no, you can. I'm thinking if you're being boring and going for a classic cheeseburger, or I'm thinking I'll go for uh, a chicken katsu rice bowl because that sounds like a wagamama. But they have like loads of different like brands of like restaurants is like kind of like street food but yeah they have so many options here and it, they're not even bad prices for lunch what are you thinking about going for i'm like feeling like i want something of both something of both and it's pretty bad to mix like japanese with like fucking chicken or something <laughs> you know what i mean or, like, yeah i mean the options there to mix and match i guess but i'll let you guys know what we opt for so we've ordered food and this literally came within five minutes, less than that. What did you order? What is this? Chipuffalo wings or something? Chipuffalo wings. They're from that place over there, uh, Thunderbird Fried Kitchen. And I ordered a katsu rice bowl with sweet potato fries. What else did you order? Steak and chips. Steak and chips as well, Sarah ordered. So I'll show you that one that, that arrived, but they look yum. So I've just tried one of those and they're absolutely unreal. 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 I've just got my sweet potato fries. I'm going to try one now. Unreal. Wow. Best sweet, <laughs> sweet potato fries I've tried. And then I got the katsu curry bowl, which looks like this. Looks very nice, I must say. Fully impressed. Sarah's food has just come, but she's already full. <laughs> she's been nibbling at these and then at my chips as well. But that looks insane. What's that? Does it? Is that cut rare? Do you reckon? Or medium rare maybe? Medium rare. Medium rare. What's that stuff? Chimichurri. <laughs> Chimichurri. <laughs> is that how you say it? I, I don't. Know. I don't know. So we are back at the same place we were earlier which is this little canal place here we just sat down waiting for one of sarah's friends to come and say hello to us basically it's <laughs> <laughs> for a laugh <laughs> she's had two pins no. can i just say cut this out <laughs> cut this part <laughs> um but yeah we're just gonna have a drink in the park and then probably go to the alchemist after we're currently in high park at the moment and we are just crossing this little bridge i don't know what view is better oh me neither babes <laughs> so we opted for some cocktail cans and the pims as well because we love them and some gumberg Good morning everyone. So I have woken up with a very puffy face and I have changed Rude Awakening. Rude Awakening as well by like some bin men because we had the window open all night because it's just really hot at the moment. But 
oh i can kind of hear my morning voice as well <laughs> um i've got into my outfit for today i'm just wearing this scarf top from zaffle and these shorts from zara because it is going to be 29 degrees today and i'm really not ready for it basically but i'm going to pop some makeup on now <laughs> oh god this voice and then we are going to go to Oxford Street today and have a little picnic and I'll update you from there. So we are finally ready for the day. Let me just face this way so it's a bit more brighter. A bit too bright. I've done my makeup now and Sarah is ready to wearing a lovely little green number. <laughs> so we just went to Harrods and they didn't have what I wanted there. So we're now going to Bond Street which, oh yeah, Bond Street. We're just currently walking under the Ritz, which is pretty cool. What's the Ritz? <laughs> I don't know. Uh. I think it's like where you eat nice food and stuff. The Ritz, I don't know. It mustn't be that exciting part, know about it. <laughs> so I have made a cheeky purchase. <laughs> there is, I finally got it. So I don't know if anyone knows, but I've got, um, basically I've got a LV bag and I wanted to get the matching card holder. So I finally got that now and it's taken ages to get hold of it actually. But we've just got some stuff from M&S and Tesco for our little picnic. So we've just got to Primrose Hill for our little picnic and this is the view and it's honestly insane. We're just right at the top and look. See the London Eye, the Shard, everything from this point. So for our little picnic, I have Oasis, one of these because I love them. Sarah's got some fruit over there, more fruit. Oh, my um, shortbread, which is kind of melted. Oh. We got some cookies and some hummus dips with some breadsticks. But yeah, that's what we've got. Such a good view. Oh, and it just got better. <laughs> So we're now back and I've had an outfit change because we're going out. It's just this dress from Zara and I've also put some fake tan on as well. I will show you this purchase when I get home if you're interested. So stay tuned for later in the video. But yeah, we're just about to go out now. <laughs> day of this little trip of mine and we have just woke up i've got a very puffy face as you can see despite that i don't care mm -mm. i have got so much to not so much but it looks a lot this is what i've got to pack away into that little suitcase of mine it is currently 10 o'clock my train's at 11 40 but we're gonna leave about half hour because we want to be there on time and get some breakfast for the train sort of thing because my belly is a bit hungry but basically last night we just met up with a bunch of Sarah's friends and had some drinks basically one too many for me yeah one too many for her we went to this place called what was it called mm -hmm. Mikado Metropolitano or something Metropolitano <laughs> um I'll insert the name that we went to here, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So hello everyone, I am now home after that lovely trip that I just went on to London to see Sarah. It was literally so nice just to like see her go out for drinks and meet her friends and stuff. But uh, I am back now and this is like near the end of the video but just in case anyone cares or wants to know what I got from Louis Vuitton 
So last year in December, I went up there and I bought a bag, which I wanted for ages. And it's this bag. It's the Alma BB and absolutely love it. It's like your perfect side bag and I use it all the time. And because I've got like your standard Ted Baker first like this, it does fit in there perfectly, but I just want more room in there. So I opted for the card holder, which is this, and I finally got my hands on it. So it's literally just has compartments either side and then one in the middle. And that was literally all I got from there. Nothing too exciting, but I just want it to match because it does my head in when things don't match. But yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And yeah, if you do like videos like this, tell me what you think of them down below. Thank you. Bye.